Hey everyone, Kel Holton over here at JMAT RV in Polo, Oklahoma. Right now I'm staying inside of our gorgeous showroom. It's that time of the year, it's starting to get really hot. Uh, just able to come down, take a look at camp. There's a nice cool environment, without having to worry about it, stressing with the heat, so it's going to be real great to have. Uh, today I want to show you this Sandpiper to 343. Uh, it's a great little floor plan, real living style, has a lot of great features. Just want to do you a little walk around the outside and inside and show you what some of the great things are about it. Uh, up front, of course, you're going to have your nice big power awning, LED light strip underneath that. Uh, got the white bottom, it's going to allow that light to really bounce off of, reflect it, really illuminate your area we're going to be enjoying maybe at night time. Of course, you're going to have your two marine grade outside speakers down here at ear level, uh, lower to the ground. Lower to the ground. Uh, it's just going to make it real easy to hear, not going to turn it up so loud. You can't keep your music down to your area without disturbing anybody around you. You're also going to have this really nice pass-through storage. So it's going to go all the way across. has a real neat feature on the other side as well that we'll look at when we go to the other side. Uh, you're going to have cable hookups and outlets out here if you want to hook a TV up in here and watch it underneath your awning. Nice little light out here. Uh, that way if you have stuff in your knee, get to it at night time, you're going to be able to see. Say so, And slam latch. So just going to be able to slam it shut. It's uh, going to be real nice and simple. Got a friction hinge door here as well. So you can kind of pull it. It's going to stop wherever you let it go. Uh, really going to take up a high amount of winds without slamming that door shut. So real nice. Kids aren't going to be able to slam it shut if you have them, grandkids. Uh, so it's going to be a real great feature. It's going to make it real simple to ease. Don't have to worry about slamming doors. No more plastic clips there on the side of the camper to worry about breaking. So it's just going to be really neat to have. Of course, you're going to have your four-step entry as well. It's going to make it real easy to get in and out of this coach along with your big grab assist handle. Uh, but work our way back here. Uh, just look at another really great thing about the particular unit you do have an outside kitchen area. Uh, it's really great. You don't have to worry about turning anything on the inside and wasting your air conditioner in the hot summer. So you're going to have some storage up top here, up top. Nice little sink here below, allow you to wash your hands. And of course, the nice big mini fridge. Uh, really great. So if you have kids or grandkids or just enjoying like this yourselves, you don't have to worry about going inside. Once again, kind of goes back to the air conditioner. Summertime, you need something to drink and be able to keep it out here and not have to worry about opening that door uh, several times, letting your AC in and out. going to really help keep the inside cool that time of the year. And then, of course, you have your amazing uh, bumper grill that goes back here with it, so you don't have to worry about using a camp uh, grounds a cooktop or anything. This just has a quick connect propane line. It's going to run off your propane balls on the camper itself. Really easy and convenient. It's going to make uh, camping really simple. And then, of course, back here in the back, too, you are going to have your electric stabilizing jack. So. Just a hit of a button right here. You're not going to have to crank anything on this camper. Your front tracks are hydraulic, so it's just really simple. So it can't be made easy. But I'm going to run the other side of the camper here real quick, and I'll show you what's on the other side of that pass-through storage. All right, guys. Here on your pass-through storage, uh, other side on the off-door side. So this is that one thing that makes this camper really great. you got a really big convenience center. You're going to have all your hookups and everything you need to do in one central location. Uh, you're going to have all your tank pulls, uh, your tank flush, your fresh tank fill, your city water hookups easy water heater bypass, park cable and satellite, have an exterior shower right here. Uh, and probably one of my favorite things, the most convenient things about having this exterior shower over here with all your hookups, uh, you can actually hook this thing up, hook this water hose up to your black tank flush, turn on your hot water and use actual hot water to flush out that black tank, really help be able to clean it out. Um, and it's just really nice to have all your hookups here at one spot, You're not going to have to go on from camper to camper, front and back, trying to find different things. Uh, even have a nice little light in here uh, to allow you to see at nighttime. Water filter system, just going to be really great having everything here at once. Uh, but guys, this is just a few things here on the outside. Why don't we run on the inside real quick and take a look in there. All right, guys, now we're here on the inside of this 343. Like I said, it's a rear living floor plan, so you're going to get a ton of space in here. You're actually going to have dual opposing slide outs. We're really going to open this area up. Uh, on one side, you're going to have your theater style seating recliners. Uh, so it's going to be real simple, real comfortable to sit down and just hang out. Uh, so they do recline will be wall huggers right across from your television it's where it's going to be it's most comfortable where people usually like to sit without having to look sideways uh, then of course you're going to have your nice big uh, couch with this a trifold sofa uh, if you do have family members friends grandkids anything like that in here you know it's going to be really simple to fold down and make a bed as well uh, which i'll just show you how to do that here real quick you just got to take off your rear cushions over here Sense them to the side or wherever you need them to. Just lift up on the bottom. Pulls right out. Legs just fold down. Then the very back of your couch out here is what's going to make the back half of your bed. 
then of course you're going to have your memory foam back in right here. It's going to make it real comfortable. Uh, the guys, if you'll just give me one second, I'll put this back up and we'll continue. All right, guys, now that the couch is put back up, I will just continue on. Of course, the entertainment center over here, you're going to have your nice big flat screen TV. Underneath that, you're going to have your residential sound bar. It's going to be great quality sound. It's going to control your inside speakers, exterior speakers, uh, play radio, hookup auxiliary cord, USB hookup. So it's going to be able to play any type of music off your cell phone, tablet. And then you're going to have your fireplace underneath here. A um, couple different options here. You can use the flames without the heat. You can use the heat without the flames. So you have different dimmers. Uh, so if you had young kids sleeping here and needed a night light, it would be great. It's going to knock off the chill in a cool morning. Uh, so it's always really nice to have there. Uh, also, just looks real great. Of course, you're going to have your freestanding dinette table here. Tons of windows around that. So at the lake, you know, at the mountain, going to have a lot of great views. You're going to be able to sit up there and really enjoy a meal, coffee in the morning. Going to have a little bit of storage here as well underneath all these chairs, placemats, uh, cards, games, and such like that. And then we'll just move across here to our kitchen area. One of the great things about this floor plan, you have a residential refrigerator, LG, so it's going to be just like one you have in your home. So if you're taking extended trips, it could be somewhere gone for or working out of it, uh, you know, plenty of room for all your groceries and food. You're not going to have to make multiple trips to the store in the same week. Um, now you might be wondering, uh, you know, what you're going to do with this going down the road because being a residential fridge, of course, you're going to be electric only. Camper will come with an inverter. Uh, so turn that on, go down the road, so this thing will run off your battery as you're traveling. Uh, so you're not going to have to worry about that. Going from place to place, still be able to keep all your food cold. A nice big island here in the middle, which is where your sink is located. Got a split 60-40 sink. Nice pull-out sprayer. Just going to make washing and rinsing dishes, you know, really simple. And, of course, you're going to have your three-burner cooktop with the glass covering. It's going to act really well as a backsplash here. You're going to have direct spark on all this stuff. And then, of course, a big 22-inch oven. Uh, really nice. And just tons of storage in here as well. You get a you know, nice big pantry over here. Uh, it's really deep. It was all the way back there. Some really big pull-out drawers that do pull all the way out. You know, some drawers are just going to be what they call the three-quarter pull-out. Not going to come all the way out. Going to have to reach in for stuff. So that's going to be really handy to have there. And then, of course, you have this big bank of storage and stuff behind me as well. Outlets over here. So a great place for coffee pots. Bank of drawers going all the way across. So a lot of great storage above and below. So just a lot of great things up here. And as we'll continue up... We'll come up here, we'll go into the main bathroom. Does have uh, two separate entrances here, so you can't get to it from hallway or master, but uh, from the hallway there. Really great, usually enlarges the bathroom a little bit, a little bit more space. Gonna have a nice big corner shower. Porcelain foot flush toilet. A real simple to click clean. You can use your household materials. And then a really nice size vanity and storage above and below that as well. And we'll step back in here to your master bedroom. Of course, one thing this unit does have, of course, you're already going to have pre-prepped two air conditioners, both ducted throughout. Uh, so if you are somewhere where you had to uh, go down to a 30 amp and a 50 amp hookup, uh, when you are just running your bedroom or your main AC, all the air is still going to go all the way throughout the camper since it's ducted throughout, so it's going to be great to have there. A nice queen-size bed, places to put cell phones and alarm clocks next to it. Then up front, you're going to have your uh, secondary television, a couple of big drawers there. And then, of course, your really big closet. Got your hanging rod all the way across. Going to have washer dryer hookups back in the corner if that's something you want to go with. Uh, but, guys, this is that Sandpiper to 343. It's a really great layout. Wasn't able to cover and hang this video, uh, so please give me a call with any other questions you may have. Uh, you can reach me here toll free at 888-293-2211 or just shoot me an email at kale.holton at jmatrv.com. Uh, Maybe not interested in this camper. We got a lot more and a lot about 350, so give me a call. We'd love to talk to you and see what you're interested in and find you all the perfect one. Uh, thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye.